Hi, good morning, everybody. I'm Philip Justus. I run a company called Xanox. We're the leading performance advertising network in Europe. You've heard the term performance a couple of times this morning, so we have a very specific understanding of what we mean with performance, uh, and I'm going to talk about that in the next couple of minutes. So a bit of history of Xanox. We're a company that's been around since uh, 2000, founded in Berlin, uh, and that's gone international very quickly, as you can see over here, through a range of both organic expansion as well as M&A. So we acquired a number of affiliate marketing or performance networks throughout Europe over the last couple of years. A company called First Coffee in France, the market leader in France, uh, Affiliate Window and Bayat, two leading networks in the UK, as well as M4N in the Netherlands. And we've basically taken these networks and integrated them into Xanox, made it one bigger, better uh, performance network over those years, as well as expanded uh, internationally. Um, so you also see that we have a number of organic uh, growth steps here since uh, 2000. We're basically present today in 12 countries with about 650 people that we employ across these markets, mostly sales and marketing people in the markets and then a central technology organization in Berlin. What do we mean when we say performance? Uh, when I think about the different types of online marketing, I like to think about them as reach, visits, or sales along the customer funnel. And we operate on the far right side of this funnel. We're very close to the transaction. In fact, we only get paid when a transaction happens. So what we do is we have a technology that enables us to monitor what happens between view, uh, click, and then ultimately in the shopping process on, a, on an advertiser's website, uh, when a sale happens or when a lead is generated. And we are all about generating the sale and the CPA-based model. So basically, our publishers only get paid when a sale happens, and we only get paid when a sale happens. And that's great from an advertiser's perspective because it's effectively risk-free for the advertiser to work with us. Of course, this model has been around for some years. We compete with companies like Commission Junction over here. Sorry. Commission Junction over here in the US. We com compete with the likes of Linkshare, Trade Doubler, Affilinet, to main, name a couple of uh, names over here. Uh, but it's a different value proposition than if you were um, uh, doing a CPC or a CPM-based business, because effectively, the publisher has to do a lot of the work, and the advertiser can sort of sit back and relax and just choose the publisher they want to work with. And we think that's a very nice model, especially for the, uh, for the um, advertiser. So how does this actually work? So it goes back to the notion of affiliate marketing from sort of the late 1990s, early 2000s, where you have content websites, maybe a blog, you have somebody who wants to drive customers to advertisers and is probably not a professional publisher. Uh, so they started out being the affiliates in the affiliate marketing industry, the long tail, if you will. Uh, we connected them to advertisers. We signed up all the big advertisers. Uh, the publishers drove the consumers to the advertisers, and the advertisers paid when they made a sale. So that's, in some ways, affiliate marketing 101, as you know it from 10 years ago. Now, we've evolved dramatically, and it's not only a long-tail business, and in fact, we power or generate monetization opportunities for all types of different publishers. In fact, many of them are here today. Uh, the retargeting companies plug into our network and uh, drive monetization for themselves and drive consumers to advertisers. We work with uh, SEM companies, we work with email publishers, cashback, voucher space. Those are all have become very professional type business publishers that we work with. So I heard somebody mention this morning, affiliate marketing really is considered long tail. I would say yes and no. We work with hundreds and thousands of different publisher types. We probably have the largest network of publishers in Europe, but it's really very professional businesses as well that plug into our network and drive consumers sort of to these advertisers. On the advertiser side, we work with a very broad range. We have about 4,000 different types, uh, different advertisers uh, across Europe and globally. Uh, retail and shopping is a very big segment for us, so we power lots of e-commerce sites. Times, so especially the telcos, we drive lots of mobile phone contracts and DSL contracts, travel, financial services. And we find that this model basically works for anybody who has a product to sell online. That's basically our business definition. We're not into branding, we're only about performance, and if you have a product to sell online, um, that's when we get involved. In terms of how the product actually works, it's a very big tracking engine that, that we basically use to pr provide statistics on views, clicks, and ultimately sales. And the advertiser has the full ability to monitor what's going on there. They have the full transparency about the publishers. It's not a blind network, it's only picked publishers that the advertiser wants to work with. 
and they have an ability to basically accept or reject any single transaction. So the advertiser can actually look at their inventory system and say, did this product actually sell? Did I ship it or did I have a return? And they can ultimately decide, are we going to pay for this transaction, yes or no? And it's a free market. If the advertiser sets a commission structure that's too low, nobody will do business with them. Our big advertisers often start out saying, I'll give you 2% of my shopping cart, and that's a bad strategy because nobody, no publisher will drive volume to the advertiser in that scenario. So it's a free market where whoever offers the best, most attractive commission structure gets the most customers, gets the most transactions, and advertisers pick that up, pick that up very quickly. We provide lots of data to our uh, to the uh, publishers, structured data from advertisers, so basically a lot of information about product catalogs, prices, pictures, etc., that publishers can use to really power their business and, for example, build price comparison sites uh, on, top of, uh, on top of this uh, data structure that we provide to them. Key financials. So Xanox, as I said, is not a young company. It's a 12-year-old. Uh, we do over 400 million euros in revenues. Uh, we're significantly the leader in our space in Europe, and in fact, we're the leader in all the major individual markets in Europe as well. So Germany, the UK, France, the Netherlands, Italy, those are the places where we're clearly sort of the, the largest performance um, network. And why does that matter? Because of course the advertiser wants to have one partner with the broadest access to the largest set of publishers instead of having two, three, four performance partners um, with them. It also matters to publishers because if we have critical mass, we can provide publishers one place with access to the largest number of attractive uh, advertising uh, programs. Ultimately, how we measure our success is by the number of transactions that we drive. And we drive about uh, 90 million transactions per year, which translates into gross merchandise value for our advertisers of over 5 billion euros. So that's very significant. And of course, we have a lot of data around these 5 billion uh, euros worth of transactions that we power, which helps us optimize the transactions and the monetization opportunities for our publishers. Again, we're present in with offices, physical locations in uh, 12 offices, uh, 12 countries across Europe, also in the US and also in Brazil. In fact, Brazil is one of our fastest growing markets where e-commerce and online advertising are just taking off. And one thing that we've noticed is our model works as well on the mobile channel as it works on the stationary internet, if you will. Last year, we uh, powered 120 million uh, worth in GMV and transactions on behalf of our advertisers purely on mobile. And I thought this was pretty remarkable because, in fact, we didn't really have to change our product very much to do this. Uh, it's the same tracking infrastructure. It just so happens that advertisers have now woken up and changed their websites to be truly mobile enabled, and we can power that uh, that channel for them as well. Why is this relevant to US companies? I think it's relevant for a couple of reasons. One, we're a network that also operates here in the US. We have some very big and important clients here in the US, Ticketmaster, Experian, Badoo, to name a few. We work with them locally here in the US and serve their, their needs over here. Here we operate under the brand Affiliate Window, which is our UK brand that we've also taken to the US. We're the number one gateway for US advertisers looking to work with a network in Europe. Uh, so, for example, when Groupon wanted to expand into Europe, they picked a network and it was our network to work with in most of the European markets. In fact, they want one partner to serve their performance needs across Europe. And so we today work with them in over 20 countries within Europe and uh, outside and help them drive sort of significant new sales volume. To name a couple of others, we work with Dell, we work with Hilfiger, Living Social. The list is long of US companies who need a partner, not 12 partners when they go to Europe, and that's part of our pitch as well. And then finally, we work with a lot of publishers who have innovative business models over here in Europe as they figure out how to get access to, U to European advertisers. So this is important as well because a lot of these companies don't really have the bandwidth to set up a sales force to go and speak to advertisers across Europe, and we help them solve that issue. Uh, so some of them uh, are here in the Bay Area, and basically we provide a monetization venue and access to clients to, to them in Europe. I should also mention that we're no longer for sale, or we're no longer looking for investment opportunities. We belong to Axel Springer and Publi Group. They acquired Xanax in 2007, uh, but we're here because we think that we have relevant business propositions uh, for you if you have portfolio companies that either want to advertise in Europe or that want to monetize in Europe, and we're here to help. Thanks very much.